to stop. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. The world did change, though. All the people he could have hurt, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. For a minute there, thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule. Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. So, when now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. 
Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. Ryan was murdered. At a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Same BD almost wiped me, so... Yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? say for sure, but a lot of things point to Weldon Holt. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt and up our security. You're right. As always, you're right. Thanks for your help, Fee. Your Fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? What's going on? Consistent readings. Detecting abnormalities. Commencing a neutralizing threat.
kill. Suspect! You are instructed to reveal yourself! Okay, 
suspect. You are instructed. Just received word on a breaking story. A Kang Tao AV has crashed outside of Night City. The aircraft's thrusters were deactivated by sudden EMP discharge from a nearby damaged power station in the center of the The emergency I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. <laughs> He's got the gift of the gab. Can't be denied, but I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? There's no time to waste, V. Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you be. I acquired some information of my own. 
Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Accidental murder aligns duty. Yorinobu is a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values. And to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well... Get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. There's no time to waste, B. <laughs> oh, 
fucking worked. Two-bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sid, I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog. Needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his own game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. The way he walks, the look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. There's no time. Time to waste me. Sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him stray even a couple of feet and you can say goodbye to his fucking honor. Go with him, V. You're a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yorinov. In the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. And they surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinov set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. 
power struggles. All of this. Ksa. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. What's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Richard dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about him some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Where's Yorinobu's re No, perhaps soon. Saburo tolerated all. Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So does the plastic. Come. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate 
Night City that much? Hmm. Perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, dried on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar. Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Pipes. Sam? We could use them to get inside. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. Flush turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Armor door. Sealed tight. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one?
think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, <sighs> except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bakaneko. A bakaneko? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune, can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost. I suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for... a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 has the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Let me guess. So they could turn him into corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention, and Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands. 
but it is important how they become dirty. So spill. How'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I, in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you are both the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way. Yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists. As if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? The Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there. Scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka. Saw how corps operate. Wooden roses and rainbows. You know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Getting hmm? worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine to do. 